financial instruments uh, have become increasingly important in the agricultural sector uh, uh, following the path uh, in other important uh, European policies, for instance, in regional policy. The reason is simple. Uh, there is need for money uh, to support our farmers across Europe. We thought that uh, there is a whole untapped potential in terms of financial instruments where we can also mobilize funds from the uh, financial institutions uh, together uh, that can you act as a leverage to uh, attract funding also from private investors possibly, but to basically make it easier for farmers to access the money that they need to develop uh, all kinds of, uh, of projects. According to our figures, uh, if uh, everything goes as planned, considering the projects already being implemented and being approved now, by the end of the year we should have around 2 to 2.5 billion euros mobilized through these, uh, through these financial instruments. And this is much needed money for the farmers under more interesting conditions than uh, financial institutions usually give to uh, as, as credit, that it's much needed to, to top up whatever is already out there in terms of, let's say, direct payments or other farm forms of support and the rural, rural development. The burden is first and foremost on the financial institutions to make available uh, uh, financial instruments with conditions that are interesting enough for farmers. The burden is also on the public authorities in member states to work together uh, on one hand with the financial institutions to make these instruments available, to work together with farmers to make sure that farmers know that these instruments exist. <laughs>